I'm here today to talk about my article, Gendered Identification. The article is co-authored with Alice Marr and appears in the British Journal of Management. When we think of gendered identification, role models come to mind. Very often we hear that women just don't have enough role models. There are enough women that are in senior positions that they can use as potential templates for their own life course. However, um, in this research we show that it is not just the availability of role models, but actually also the identification process itself that is often problematic for women. This article draws on data of 20 MBA students that have talked about people that they admire and that they identify with. And what we actually found is that men and women have very different processes of identification. Men largely idealize their role models. Idealization means that you only look at the positive aspects and disregard any negative or neutral aspects. Women, in contrast, largely admired their role models. That means that they looked at positive aspects, but also those that are more neutral and even negative and included that in their portrayal. So overall we found that men and women differed in how they identified with their role models. That is relevant for a variety of aspects. First of all, it shows us that identification processes themselves are different. Second of all, it shows us that we should encourage new processes of identification. For a long time we have tried to make women identify their, with their role models like men have done. However, instead, we would say that it is much more beneficial for men to use admiration processes that we see much more commonly in women. Why? Well, simply because women have a wider choice of role models and they're more critical in their engagement with the role models. So this is very positive because it allows you to create your own unique role model and your own process of, uh, of identification can thereby take shape. So this article is of great interest for academics um, who explore issues around identification, particularly as they relate to gender. It would also be of much interest for students trying to understand the concepts around role modeling and identification. So I hope you enjoy reading the article and I would love to hear your comments.